And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we got a pretty, pretty, some pretty decent content. I wouldn't call it content content, but like. It's better than the typical Good Morning Monday Madden stream. We do got a free player on deck, some new solos, as well as some rewards coming pretty soon. So I'm pretty excited about that, especially the free player part. You know, could never go bad with a free player. Now, guys, again, quick reminder if you have not done this, one of my subs last night did take my advice to buy this, and they did get the number one overall pick in Joe Burrow. They were super hype. If you're watching this, shout out to you. Um, you know who you are. You'll probably hit me up on Twitter later. But. Don't think you're going to get the number one pick. It's like, you know, it's not as likely as like I get in it, but still, still take your chances. I definitely want to open this at some point. I just, again, haven't gotten around to it. I keep forgetting to, like, I get off this video, I edit, record, post, and I go do my thing. Go play some games, do whatever I got to do. But guys, before we get into today's video, go over the free player, the news, the sets, and everything. Make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Like I said, always comment down below if you guys need any help with anything. Let me know what you guys got out of this pack. And smash the like button if you have been enjoying the content lately. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate that. Now, guys, set up for everything. So they did just drop some new solo challenges, which does help you get some collectibles that leads to some free players, which I'll go over in a little bit. So we go on up to the draft uh, solos, of course. Now, these are some of the new ones. We did get a Madden Bowl solo challenges as well as NFL Draft, I believe. The Draft All-Stars just opened up. So let me show you guys what you can potentially be doing. Now, the last ones do open up the 23rd, three days from now, night of the draft. So first off, because this is, I believe, let's see, 128 stars, and that is 100 and... 50 stars that comes out to about 278 stars so you can get all the way up until tier 7 so you now have the chance to get a free 90 a draft diamond two free 90s another draft diamond which two draft diamonds are a free 97 plus a 93 and then you get a draft diamond and finally one last 93 so you get what is that like two 93s three 90s and a 97 so make sure you get all that done you will be getting some free players from the solo challenges of course but that's pretty much the new solo set. Then we got the Madden Bowl solos, which are pretty interesting. Take on the Madden challenges based on each of the 22 competitors' Madden Bowl spot. Earning games to earn a MCS Madden 20 tokens. Using sets for a free Nat 96 overall. So this is how you're going to get your free player. So all you need is 60 tokens or 60 stars to get the MCS champion token. Now, first one is going to be 10 stars. Now, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm guessing these are full games. So, okay, so you have to score 30 plus points, 30, uh, 30 rush touchdowns, throw for 70 yards in the first quarter. So I guess if you can do this in the first quarter, I'm guessing the game ends, right? Yeah, all you gotta do is score 30 points. So just score really quickly, get it done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Definitely play on the hardest difficulty so you can get everything as quickly as possible. And you're pretty much playing with real life people. Like these are the real life people who play in the Madden Club Championships. And you're gonna keep going down so you get 60 total stars. If you play all on hard, you could probably get it done in what? It would take five times 12, take 12 total games. I mean, it, it'll probably. I mean, it's probably gonna be most of these, right? Two, four, six, eight. Probably, I'll probably end up taking most of these because there's not really many here. I imagine there's some more options because there's only two games in here. There might be more than two challenges in here. But for the most part, super cool that you do get a free 96 overall player. Now, you guys are probably wondering who these free 96 overall players are. And it's actually kind of cool. Pick some pretty big names, in my personal opinion. So let's head on over to that set. Check out the free players. I'm kind of going to go over who I think you should get. But remember, these solos shouldn't take you that long. Honestly, in my opinion, two hours, maybe, depending on how the other ones get. Like, based on the first two, you can get the 30 point one done in like. 12 minutes maybe 15 minutes because obviously you got to go in play the solo score some points on hard it might be a little bit longer but 12 minutes shouldn't be and 12 to 15 minutes and you got to play that like 10 more games like that and imagine somewhere between two and two and a half hours is a reasonable minimum time again it could go longer depending on your skill of this game but that's not too bad and as that far as nfl drafting new stuff did come out so remember that we will be getting the final one on draft night and that will introduce us to all the other rewards so after we get past tier seven that is when you get the last draft diamond and you get the fifty thousand coins so for the most part we got the best rewards over with now you're gonna get just coins in the draft diamond, which you don't really need that extra draft diamond anyways if you did the house rules but if you didn't do the house rules it's still pretty useful so take advantage of that and if you guys know what i'm talking about with the draft diamond before i go over to the new stuff um it's pretty simple you go over to sets and you go over to the draft and use your draft diamonds for 197 uh i believe you get to do you get to pick i believe you do so you go over to draft diamonds you have two total ones here so you get two from this current draft two for one from the current draft and two for one from the hero set and it's pretty self-explanatory you can pick what you want from there and if the class of 20 i think it's a random i believe you just earn a die i think you just earn a, a random player 
Guys, Mo Rewards as well will be coming this Friday, I believe. So stay tuned for that. It'll probably end up being draft packs or something related to the draft. So stay tuned for all that. Guys, I just want to throw that in there real quick from a 97 overall. So that is picks two through five, which would be like Chase Young, Tua, could potentially be Burrow if he falls on pick, Isaiah Simmons, Jeff Okuda. Pretty cool. Now let's go over to the M MCS Bowl, the new set that is in the game. So as you guys can see here, MS MCS Champion Pack exchange two tokens to obtain a random drop of a hat 90 skill roll, Ezekiel Elliott, Khalil Mack, or Marshall Lattimore. All these guys are going to be difference makers on the squad simply because of how that dominance cards usually are. Now, my personal opinion, I know who I'm leaning towards, but again, you never really know with how good players could be and how good stats could end up looking. But remember, to get the second one, you get it from logging in. So when you log in today, you should have gotten one, and you play the solo, which is not technically the second one, and you go play that, and then you get the other one. So that will give you a total of two. You turn them in here now. You get to pick one. Oh, no, you get a random drop. You get a random one. Okay, so in my opinion, if I had to rank them, I personally think I'd want Khalil Mack first, then Lattimore, then Ezekiel Elliott. Now, Marshall Lattimore is going to, of course, be really fast with decent coverage stats. But he's going to be super fast. Let's toss my token in real quick. And then Ezekiel Elliott. I honestly don't want Zeke here. I think Zeke's going to be slow. Going to have like a 93 speed. And guys, if you are a budget squad, like a budget squad, maybe you want Zeke. If you're a budget squad, a 96 Zeke's probably looking real good right about now. But if, I mean, any of these cards, for anyone below like a 94 overall team, any of these cards are probably a difference maker. For my team personally, I think I'd want Khalil Mack first to replace Von Miller. And then I'd probably end up taking Marshall and Lattimore second, just as like a fourth kind of um, kickoff guy, depth guy. But Zeke, I really just don't see where I use him. My running backs are Saquon Barkley, Bo Jackson, and I believe Barry Sanders. So I really don't see a, a scenario where I end up actually using Ezekiel Elliott. But still pretty cool that we did get some free players. Now, they're going to put their stats. They're not power upable, guys. Remember that. They won't be power upable primarily because they are not like the typical power up chain of players. They're like quick little nat mcs player that's that's typically the case with these cards they won't be power upable which is going to suck a little bit but again it's i mean it's cheap you just get them you toss them you play them that's it it's very simple now it'll be really cool if they let us put like abilities on them and sprinter and stuff now if they let us do that these cards are pretty pretty cool obviously i can't get it for you guys now to show you because i have to go play all the solos and this video would never got up but i'm super excited for all that guys in my opinion like i said if you if it does let you pick which i don't think it does i think it's random but if you get to pick i'd go mac then Lattimore, then zeke like i said i think marshall will probably have like a 90 probably have like a 95 speed but have like an 88 zone and like an 85 man and like a 90 press which is fine because you can put lockdown on him and then hopefully get that zone to 90 make him pretty useful he might actually be a little bit better than that but he's they typically made him pretty bad this year and then khalil mac i'm expecting to have like a 94 blah finesse move and like at least an 87 speed could be super super solid on any team like that's just a great pass rusher in general even if they um nerf his stash a little bit but that is technically higher overall than his limited time christmas card which was super super solid hopefully they don't nerf his stats because he's not the ball card you know but could be super super good now guys that's pretty much it as, con as far as content goes remember that is like pretty much all we're gonna have until the actual nfl draft happens it will be april 23rd if you guys didn't already know which i believe is wednesday night all right because the 20th 24 no thursday night it's thursday night so remember the night of the draft they will only release i believe five total players so the first five draft picks of the 2020 nfl draft will actually be made card art and all and introduced into packs and in the game that night every other card i think will be released in the following days or the following night at least so Pretty much that night of if you don't have a top five pick or a collectible don't expect to be using a card that night it's still fun to go over everything and try to get collectibles they will be limited time solos now guys i i suspect that there will be some kind of limited time solo that night of like i've been telling you guys and i'm pretty sure it was hinted at in the stream or at least talked about so my prediction for this thing was that there was going to be an nfl draft like limited time set and i believe that kind of hinted at it where like what i how i would like it to be it's a limited time set it's the hour before the draft like the pre-draft and you got to play it's like a like the shoe collectible stuff either for something really cool or just for a player like you play it real quick and everyone gets a random draft pick and like you get pick 32 you get the 30 second pick you get pick one you get joe burr you get pick two you get chase young and it morphs as the players get picked that'd be super cool or even better or even like even like more rare they do picks one through five and you either get one or you don't you can get coins like just like the shoe collectible works and it's super rare to get one but still could be super fun hopefully I do something really cool the night of draft night so just stay tuned for all that once you get that information in this video just in case you guys don't watch another video that you can hear this in because i will be talking about it a few times but the more i talk about it the more i kind of keep you guys up to date what i think but guys that is about it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you are new to the channel make sure you're down below down below as always make sure to subscribe turn on that audio boys come join the family we're still grinding out here in madden 20 despite conditions and the time of the year we're in but 
Hopefully we can keep it up all the way to Madden 21, guys. Cannot wait for all that and all. But comment down below if you guys have anything to add to this video. Comment down below who you get out of that pack. Tell me who you get out of the MCS pack. Come back later. Click on the video. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get over 100 likes on this video, guys? That'd be greatly appreciated. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Hopefully you're staying safe in quarantine. Stay inside, guys. Have fun inside. I'm a homebody, so personally, I haven't really... It doesn't have affected me too much. But keep yourself safe. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.